Hey everyone, welcome back to Binky Beauty. If you don't know who I am, I'm Binky. This is my skincare channel and we've got an empties video today. I haven't done one in a while. I've been hoarding stuff to do one and I think I have everything. I also need to make a video about products that I'm just not finishing because sadly that happens more than empties. So let's just do the empties video though because that's what we're here for. And I forgot, I forgot be right back. Okay, that's been happening. I've been forgetting things. Just wanted to make sure I was recording, but let's just get into it. We'll start with cleansers, and this is dusty. That's how long I've been collecting it. Okay, so I've got the Murad 4-in-1 Prebiotic Multi Cleanser. Now, this was a really nice cleanser because it went from a gel to a bit of an oily texture. I felt like it was really good at getting everything off makeup sunscreen everything Murad. i think it's like 35 dollars um will i repurchase this anytime soon probably not because i've got a lot of cleansers i i really like cleansers um so i won't be needing to repurchase this anytime soon in my opinion, this is like an upgraded CeraVe, especially because it has that transformative texture. I really enjoyed this though. It's very gentle. It's hydrating. I didn't feel like it was stripping my skin. I liked that if I wanted to, this could be a one-step cleanser. It could actually be a four-in-one cleanser because I don't know, but it, it can be a four-in-one. Hi, Dags makeup. Yeah, it replenishes with prebiotics. I'm not so sure about all that probiotic, prebiotic stuff in skincare. Um, I mean, obviously we have bacteria on our skin, good and bad, acne causing, non-acne causing, whatever. In skincare, I'm not sure, but I just really did like the texture of this product. Don't think I need to repurchase it anytime soon, but it was nice. It was nice, but nice maybe isn't like I'll give you my money. Okay, next for cleansers, I've got the Tatcha Rice Wash. This thing exploded in my toiletry bag when I was traveling, but this was also a lovely cleanser. Straightforward, gentle, hydrating, lightly exfoliating. There's like an ever so subtle grit. This works beautifully as a second step cleanser with any of Tatcha's oil cleansers or any oil cleanser that you love. It was lovely. It was hydrating. Um, I liked that Tatcha came out with a cleanser like this in like a tube. I feel that that was a really smart move because this is a really understandable product. It's a face wash that comes in a tube. I think there's still some people or there was who was like, okay, all you have are oil cleansers, all their beautiful oil cleansers, which are amazing. They transform into a milky awesomeness. But this was a great thing, I think, to add to their line. It gave, it like rounded out the line in a really nice way. So this was a great face wash. I might buy it down the road, but again, I just, I like face wash. So I'm not going to repurchase it right away, but I will definitely keep it on my radar. And I enjoyed it. I wouldn't completely write it off. I really liked it. And it's such a pretty bottle. Okay, next we've got serums. Estee Lauder advanced night repair. This will always make its way into my routine at some point or another. It's a classic. I know a lot of people say like, oh, that's so overpriced, but it's it's like Estee Lauder advanced night repair. I think most people feel pretty bougie, special, wonderful when they see this sitting on their vanity. You just, I mean, even if you buy a dupe, I feel like if you really just wanted to go with it and use this for the rest of your life, you're like, that's it, I'm just gonna use that. It would not be the worst decision you make in your life. It's a great product. Like I said, I use it off and on, maybe every six months, maybe once every two years. It just makes its way into my routine. It's a lovely product, classic, advanced night repair, okay. Got interrupted. Okay, finished off the Tata Harper Concentrated Brightening Serum. This was a lovely serum. On a scale of one to 10, I give this like an eight. 
I think this works beautifully in conjunction with Tata's other products, the brightening essence, the face creams. It's a lovely product. I'm giving it an eight because it's expensive. This little 10 ml bottle, which is like a sample of some of Tata's other products, like you get 10 ml samples from Tata of her other products. This little 10 ml is $125. If you go up to the 30, you're looking at two to $300. So it's expensive. The other thing is you are, I, I mean, I got it all out with a Q-tip, but you can even still see here, there's some product. You, you're left, the pump doesn't pump out all the product and you've got like product up to here that you can't get to unless you use a Q-tip. So, Will I repurchase this at this point in my life? No. Did I enjoy it? Yeah. If I ever am like, you know, I'm ready to just drop some change on one of these, I totally would. It's a beautiful treat. As far as efficacy, I think it really, for me, I really liked the way it worked with all her other products. I might try it on its own. That might be a better way to test it, but I did primarily test this with all her other products and it was lovely it was lovely this is a beautiful product and i would love to repurchase this at some point down the road okay moisturizer dusty again long time coming this one the olay regenerist micro sculpt cream classic empty fragrance free my preference wow what a shift like 120 dollars to like 20 at the drugstore you can have a range. Okay, this is a great cream. I love the fragrance free. It's got niacinamide in it. It's just a straightforward, good, hydrating, basic cream. It's good. Um, I did repurchase this, but it had fragrance. Don't really could not get over the fragrance. It also had SPF in it, which I found to be a bit drying for some reason. The SPF that they used was a little drying for my skin. But again, this is kind of like the Estee Lauder. It just finds its way back into my routine every now and then. I think Olay makes really good basic moisturizers, but get the fragrance free. That's the way to go. Next, I've got the Maylandstrom. Wow. I've got the Maylandstrom, the Problem Solver Mask. This potion, look at that. Do you see that? This beautiful, it's a beautiful mask. I finished it. Okay, this is really a great mask for solving skin problems. <laughs> Considering that it's a clay-based mask, it's not overly drying. You can use it with water, you can use it with some honey, with some yogurt. It's a beautiful mask. It's very soothing. It really does bring down the redness if you have a breakout or it can give you hydration if you mix it with some honey and just kind of soothe redness that you might have from your skin being too dry. It's a lovely product. Maylandstrom makes gorgeous products that are beautiful treats for your skin. I've used the Blue Cocoon from her. Wow, that is a gorgeous product. So again, maybe won't repurchase this right away, but I would love to support Maylandstrom and purchase some of her other products. So that's a great mask. And I finished off the Waleda Revitalizing Body and Beauty Oil. Waleda makes some of the best body oils at such an affordable price. They come in glass, which is what you want because oil sitting in plastic absorbs the chemicals from the oil. So I always get my oils in dark glass bottles and Waleda has so many options. I love their deodorant, their body oils, and they're so affordable. And if you get them at Pharmica, sign up for their emails. They're having sales all the time and you can get them at an even better price. Buy them in bulk. I go through these like you wouldn't believe. So that's it for my empties. Like I said, I need to make another video of products that have just kind of been left at the wayside and I'll make that soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.